Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This customer brought in their vehicle to the shop to get a new exhaust installed. As he says, it sounds terrible and drags on the ground. The customer also mentioned he just recently had this exhaust installed by a friend. Customer states they just installed a new battery and want it checked over. They're pretty nice. I mean, I, I guess, but like, I mean, nothing beats electrical tape. Customer states they have a weird wobble in the rear. The technician found that the axle bearing was so worn that the axle shaft rubbed through the axle tube over time. The customer got a used rear differential installed. Got the axe pulled out. This is the top. And this customer came in as they have an oil leak and says the oil pressure light comes on. The first thing the technician did was check the engine oil and found it to be very overfilled. The oil level is down there is where it's supposed to be and it is... Oh my gosh, I don't even know how many quarts over full that would be. Customer states vehicle pulling to the left. Hmm. Customer states they have an exhaust leak. The technician said this vehicle was driven in like this with a missing control arm bushing and bolt. The technician said it needed more than just the exhaust leak repaired, but the customer declined repairs. The mechanic working on this vehicle noticed that the customer carved Pilot Sport into all four of his tires. When this vehicle came in for a service, the mechanic noticed that somebody put JB Weld over the drain hole on the oil pan. The customer said they had no clue about this as they usually get their oil changes done at a quick lube shop. Customer states they have coolant coming out of their exhaust. The technician found that the customer had a bottle of coolant left in the back of the car that was leaking onto the exhaust. And this truck came in to get a new brake caliper installed and the technician noticed it had painted brake rotors and a missing wheel stud. Customer states they have a vibration while driving. The mechanic found the outer tie rod ends to be worn and he also noticed that the customer had two wheel spacers installed on each corner. Customer states they have a bad oil leak after they had a quick lube shop change their oil the day prior. And this customer came in to get a quote after they had somebody pour battery acid on their vehicle. The customer did not mention who ended up doing this. The reason Land Rover had to put such a big brake caliper on this Range Rover HSE um, has nothing to do with the supercharged V8. It's just really hard to stop two tons of a rolling pile of if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Thanks for watching.